Alright guys, so today I'm going to do a daily routine type of video and the first thing I do every morning when I wake up is turn on Rex's lights and mist on his enclosure. So just want to mist it down a little bit so that it's humid because these guys do need some humidity. And if you don't know, this is a savannah monitor in this enclosure. So I just mist on his enclosure so that it stays humid. I do this pretty often. I'm not going to record every time I do it just because it'll be a bunch of times throughout the day. Basically, whenever I come in here, I'll mist it down if it's too dry. And he loves the water. He's probably sleeping right now inside this brick. That's where he likes to sleep, but if he were awake, he would come out and start drinking some of the water. And the second thing I would do is come check the incubator, even if I know that it's not going to be hatching out. I know everything hatches out in the beginning of the month, so July 1st, there'll be eggs hatching out will be these three clutches then August 1st will be eggs hatching out it would be these two clutches right here and then September it would be these eggs right here and I'm really waiting for these guys to hatch because look how small those eggs are I really want to see how they'll look so basically what I do is I just make sure that all the humidity and the temperature is right and I like to keep them at 85 and the humidity is from like 70 to 80 you can see here this is lower this is like 58 and that's because this has less vermiculite but that's fine because the ambient temp or the ambient humidity is around 70 or 80 you can see it right there all right and the third thing i would do is take out my dog gracie uh, i like to do everything inside the house first and then i'll come in here make sure that everything's all right look at the snake and make sure that none of these baby turtles are flipped over you can see they're all outside already waiting for their food so since none of them are flipped over just make sure now I'll just take them and put them in the sun a little bit put them over here they can get some sun so I like to do like that just half and half and the same thing for these guys I'm gonna have to stop recording for these because this one's harder to carry alright so these guys have been eating grass romaine hibiscus cactus and um i'm probably gonna feed them hibiscus today because it's already been like four days since they last ate hibiscus so they ate romaine lettuce yesterday i don't want to feed them that again maybe i'll feed them some missouri later i don't know they don't really like missouri too much but i'm gonna try because that's definitely something that they need to be eating especially when they're adults so i'm gonna get some missouri some hibiscus mix it in there see if they'll eat it Alright, so the next thing is to check on all the female tortoises, and I have Luna right here. So I just make sure that they're all alright, just take a glance at them, make sure they're good, and eventually they'll probably just come out throughout the day. I just always keep an eye on them. Every day I come check on them, probably like every half hour to every hour, and let me see where the other ones are. Yeah, they're both in here. You can see them in the back there. So they're good. They've been moving around. I heard these guys eating because that's my room right there and I heard them eating grass and they're actually surprisingly loud. And now I would check on these guys. These are the Hermes tortoises. And I'll get some of the hibiscus here for the babies as well. So I make sure to check these guys out a lot too so that I can see if they're laying eggs or anything. And then they're all alright. There's five there. And three there. That's eight of them. There's eight of them. So now all I'm going to do is get some of this hibiscus. First off, I'm going to get all the flowers and throw them on the floor so that they could eat it later. And now I'm going to get some flowers and feed it to the babies. Alright, so I have all the Missouri and the hibiscus here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mist it down, put some of the Missouri on top of the hibiscus and just mist it down so that I could use the hibiscus as a plate kind of and they could eat it like that so just mist it down a bit with the sprayer and put it in here I put this here for a second so that it's easier for me to give them the food since I hold this open but the hibiscus er, the Missouri is gonna get soft now and they'll eat it like that so Put some more in there. 
That's the good thing about the Missouri. It gets soft pretty easily, and I could just put it on top of the hibiscus, and they'll eat it easier. All right, and these are going to be for these two. All right, so there we go. They're all fed. Um, you see, I'm gonna put them out here so that they can see the food, cause they're sleeping right now. Take all this trash out, and these guys should probably start eating as soon. These guys are very good eaters. All right, and now last thing I need to do is missed on Aru and Aru ate the other day so I don't need to feed her today um, she ate on Wednesday and today's Friday so feed her again next week but yeah she's good for now and now basically what I do for the rest of the day, the day is check on these guys every once in a while especially now that they're in the sun I'll check on them like every 10 minutes um, so that they don't flip over because I don't want them flipping over in the heat and overheating and dying so I just gotta keep an eye on them and uh, then I'll check on the sulcatas and the hermit tortoises over and over again probably every 30 minutes make sure that they're all doing good see if any of the hermits are laying eggs and um, I'm gonna go see how tanks doing right now and that's probably gonna be it gotta feed the lizards later probably but um they already ate yesterday so I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'm gonna feed them or not they don't have to eat again today so we'll see oh. Tank's over there sleeping. I'm not gonna go wake him up now for no reason, but he is. He's doing good. Oh, I just woke him up for no reason. All right. Well, yeah, he's doing good. Yesterday he was walking around, give him some food, and that's where he likes to hide. He likes to sleep there or in the shrubs over here. Uh, I mowed all this down, and it's already growing back, so that's good. He likes to hide under there. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead inside and end the video. So all these guys ate yesterday, so I'm not going to feed them again. Maybe just a couple super worms as a treat, but probably not. Uh, that's if anything later on in the day. See, I still have some crickets here. I'll probably just throw them in some of the enclosures. Uh, these guys still have a couple crickets in their enclosures left. This is uh, the male leopard gecko. And um, you can see there's a cricket right there. Um, and I just leave them in there so that they could hunt a little bit. There's a cricket in here too, right? there in the edge and this girl I definitely threw I didn't even feed her that many I give her like two or three and I threw the rest in so that she could hunt them because she's getting fat and I want her doing some exercise uh, I can show you her if you want let me see there you go. she was going through shed yesterday so she already got that over with still has a little bit on her nails so she didn't get rid of everything I might have to mist her down mist on her moist box a little bit and if anything soak her so she could get rid of that but uh you can see she's right there uh she's getting pretty fat but that's also a good thing because sometimes the female leopard geckos go into like a period of time that they'll stop eating and this is her humid box right here uh so she just went in there that's why they're spanking the moss all over it uh so they're going to a period of time where they won't eat and at least if she goes into that she'll be fat and happy throughout it she won't get hungry or anything so she won't be too underway afterwards but yeah i'm gonna end the video right here back where we started it's another cricket right there that rex would probably hunt later but um yeah thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already make sure to turn on post notifications so you guys can get notified when i upload some more videos and yeah thanks for watching have a great day